In-flight Ketra Abrahim's Holdings said it is open to renegotiations with Malaysia Aviation Group or MAG following the axing of the partnership between Malaysia Airlines and Brahim's Food Services. Brahim's Holdings holds a 70% stake in Brahim's Food Services, while Malaysia Airlines holds the remaining 30%. Dato Sri Ibrahim Ahmad, founder and executive chairman of Brahim's Holdings, told the press today that the group would be happy to continue the relationship if the parties can come to terms on the agreement. The main point of contention was MAG's request to include a new termination for convenience clause in the contract extension between Malaysia Airlines and Brahim's Food Services. Ibrahim said today that Brahim's Holdings is agreeable to include this new clause, provided that the compensation terms are fair. Group CEO Muhammad Fadli Abdul Rahman added the new clause that was previously mentioned was as good as not having a contract and should MAG choose not to return to the negotiation table, the group still has the 35 airlines it is already providing services to. Additionally, it has been approached by quite a number of companies to acquire its stake in Brahim's food services or to enter into a joint venture, proposals that the group is currently considering. The interested companies are local parties and one foreign party. BMI, a Fitch Solutions company, maintained that Bank Negara will keep the overnight policy rates on hold at 3% until end 2023 and begin cutting rates early in the first half of next year, alongside other major central banks, including the US Federal Reserve. In a note, the firm said that over the coming months, it expects base effects to remain favourable and for underlying price pressures to ease amid a weakening economy. BMI noted that real gross domestic product growth already slowed from 5.6% year-on-year in the first quarter of this year to 2.9% in the second quarter and expects the annual rate to slow from 8.7% in 2022 to 4% this year, below the pre-pandemic average of 4.9%. It cut its end 2023 inflation forecast from 2% year-on-year previously to 1.8%, taking average inflation to 2.6% in 2023 as opposed to 3.4% in 2022. Looking ahead, BMI said it believes that the central bank will be wary of loosening monetary policy too soon, considering its relatively modest cumulative 125 basis point hike and also the weakness in the local currency. KNM Group CEO and MD Ravindra Singham Balasingham said the takeover attempt by a group of shareholders led by German billionaire Andreas Hirschen comes as no surprise considering how undervalued the company is. Ravindra Singham said in a statement that Hirschen, who emerged as a substantial shareholder this month, has had a keen interest in KNM's Crown Jewels, Borsig Group and FBM Group. According to him, Hirschen has made unsuccessful acquisition attempts in the past even as late as last year. Ravindra Singham went on to ask if the attempted takeover of KNM is a cheaper way for Hishan to acquire the two units and warned that should this be the case, the group's shareholders and creditors stand to lose all compared to its competitive monetization process. He said the abrupt attempt can and will create a disturbing disquiet amongst creditors who have been very supportive of KNM so far. The group has assured its creditors Tunku Dato Yaakob Kaira is very serious about his controlling stake in KNM and will not hesitate to increase his stake if necessary. Retail Group Malaysia or RGM has cut its estimate for Malaysia's annual retail industry growth this year to 2.7% from the 4.8% growth forecast it made in June due to poorer than expected growth rate of minus 4% in retail sales in the second quarter. In the September Malaysia Retail Industry Report released today, RGM said this was way below market expectations of a 2.6% growth amid the lower sales during Hari Raya plus the high base effect. RGM said although retail sales were encouraging, it was not comparable to a year ago, when Malaysians of all races returned to the shops after two years of lockdown. For the first six months of this year, Malaysia's retail industry grew by 2.6% as compared to the same period in 2022. 
for the next three months. RGM said many members of the Malaysia Retailers Association and Malaysia Retail Chain Association are choosing to stay conservative on their business prospects amid weakening consumer spending power. Serba Dynamic Holdings narrowed its net loss in the fourth quarter of FY 2023 on higher operating income and lower administrative expenses. The troubled oil and gas outfit trimmed its loss for the quarter to 105.02 million ringgit from 327.76 million previously. However, revenue fell 96.4% year on year to 6.15 million ringgit, dragged by lower income from its operations and maintenance segment, as well as its education and training business. For the full financial year, Serba Dynamics' net loss increased to 1.3 billion ringgit versus 1.09 billion ringgit a year earlier. This was after the company's corporate expenses and consolidation elimination of intergroup transactions. Full-year top line dropped 70.2% year-on-year to 403.23 million ringgit. On its outlook, Serba Dynamics said the group's business will remain challenging for the remainder of 2023 due to the uncertainty of the global economy as well as the current challenges facing the company from a liquidity perspective.